it is now 11 o'clock. So thank you all for uh, turning up. It, uh, my name is Philip Bamford and I'm actually the creator of this system and I've been creating this for the last 14 years, but I'm not a geek. <laughs> so it, um, I created it with necessity in mind. Um, I used to own waves at Borkham Hills Pool and took it from 300,000 to two and a half million in five years. But most of those processes wise because I had safety systems in place. Being that uh, back in those days there, it was a lot of general public coming on to there with all variety of ages, just like a dance studio. So it, um, current people actually, or current um, companies that use this system is anything from um, councils across Australia, every race course in New South Wales, um, manufacturing, warehousing, a lot of disability services, a lot of childcare and aged care and so forth. But you know, when it comes down to it, people are finally realising well, with this COVID-19, it's been a bit of an eye-opener for many businesses because, yes, you used you, you had to have things in place before because it's it's the law. So it, um, but now with the COVID-19, people are realising, oh, hang on a sec, I don't have anything in place. So it, um, I'm not sure if you watched the video that Rebecca and I did when we were out at uh, the Paul studio, it, um, but we're actually highlighting that, you know, not only should you have a system in place, but, but putting th certain things around your facility um, it is a great way for you to actually highlight that you've actually got systems in place. So it's um, one thing you don't have to be daunted about this system is uh, when it comes down to it, I've actually created it for the end user in mind. So I have tried to make this, it's as, as like most people who use the system say, uh, it's very, it's got everything in it, but when it comes down to it, it's the easiest system to use that you can do. So I'm gonna highlight a couple of things and how that is actually done. So I'll just go to this kind of present. So I'll be bouncing backwards and forwards through different presentations. The reason, one big thing that um, this system uh, is people like about it is you've got literally everything that you need to comply to safety legislation in one system. So some systems have maybe an injury management module, some people have a qualification management module, you might have your qualifications at the moment in an Excel spreadsheet. Well that Excel spreadsheet's not going to alert you when those qualifications are due. So you'll be able to see you're working with children and your qualifications can be entered inside the system and you can even set up email alerts, but you can export that out and actually show that you've actually got that compliance. When it comes down to it, this is the, usually um, when a client actually purchased the system, that would be the client and then they can enter multi-sites underneath that. But there's a higher rate for that and you know people pay the premium. So you're looking at, uh, what we've actually, with, between Rebecca and I, have said, you know, she mentioned, well, the dance studios can't afford that kind of price. We're going to make it, you know, affordable. So this is how the system works for, say, for an example, one of your studios. So this site up here is going to be what's called the dance studio site. I'm going to be relating certain documentation to that site, and that documentation is going to feed down through every single site. So this would be one of your sites, for an example. So you've got one of your sites, you could put subsites underneath that. Rebecca, you mentioned you've got three other studios, you could do that, for an example. So it, uh, what actually happens is that this site here is your site and only your site. So what actually happens there, none of these people on this level here can see any data related to you. So all your data is private and confidential from any other person using the system, unless you want them to see it, but you don't. So the only data that can actually see everyone's site is this data up here. So I've already preloaded the number of policies and procedures and checklists and all that kind of stuff that gives access to everybody in this site. So if I go back to this dance studio kind of process, an example of that, I've preloaded a number of checklists inside here and these COVID-19 checklists. And if you watch that video relating to what we did with Rebecca with her dance studio, it was as simple as going view, got your checklist in here and hitting toggle information and printing out a QR code and pasting that up. I'll just do, redo that again. Yep, now it's gone with colour. So you could literally just print that out and stick that around your facility. Now this QR code, that is actually made what's called 
public. Public means if you scan that with a QR code reader or latest phones even with your camera, if you've got a latest iPhone or whatever it may be, or an Android phone, scan that QR code, it would actually bring up this checklist on your mobile phone like that and you wouldn't even have to enter a username or password. So imagine having that QR code put around your facility and all your staff do. So for an example, with Rebecca's studio, so I'll use her studio as an example because most of you are kind of similar in certain ways. So it, um, she's got all her mats and all her different areas in her big studio, blue room or red room, whatever it was. So there's the staff there could actually scan the QR code and then do a hygiene check and clean those mats afterwards. What that does, because every single time I do this checklist, I'm just going, your employees, would, that would be a classic example that, you know, you would actually do a hygiene kind of checklist and go through that and complete that checklist. Every single time that this checklist has been completed, what it actually does, it actually saves it in this log. So if it saves it in this log here, now you can actually, if some, say for an example, if someone said, well, hang on a sec, show me where you've actually tried to provide a safe workplace, especially relating to COVID-19. What you can actually do is come to this log and say, here's our hygiene checklist that we actually do after every single class, or here's our, our checklist that we've done to do. So the beauty about this checklist register, you've already got so many checklists that's actually being built and put placed into your system for you. So you can see, for an example, see how these these are the current um, other centres because it's just been related to that individual centre. When, say for an example, PAWS logs into the system, they're only going to see these checklists because they're this. So PAWS have actually got the checklist that, you know, and we actually do that for you. So when you actually register, um, my, one of my employees will come in here and literally copy these checklists, all these these checklists that we've done here and relate them solely to your site. So when you actually log into your register, you'll only see, you won't see 50 checklists, you'll see five or six, the ones that we've related to your site only. I hope that makes sense. So it's, um, so because this is, if I relate data only to that site, then you're only one, you're the only people that see that data. Okay. So that's how we, we actually help you get set up. Now, in relating to printing out that QR codes, we also will print those QR codes out and send them to you. So you don't even think, oh, how do I do that again? So we're going to get you up and running as basic as possible, if that makes any sense. But just to let you know, you've got this helper down here. So I had every race course in New South Wales use this system, and they have done so for the last seven to eight years but they were using a previous system that I created and then I was lucky enough to have an investment group invest into the company that's allowed me to actually create this over again to make it as easy as possible. I was trying to use these country race people as a good example. If I could get them using a system, I thought I could get actually you know, anyone using the system. And it's amazing since the new system has been like that, and yes, that's what it looks like on a mobile. I'll just flick that off there. That's what it looks like on a mobile phone. It's not an app, it's a web page. So you would actually log into whssystems.com.au and you would actually put it on your home screen and you could literally hit your, that icon and it's gonna open up your system on your mobile phone. So you could technically walk around your facility with your system on your phone. So you could do it that way or you could actually use the QR codes which we're gonna supply you a QR code for an incident. So this system has an incident form so this incident form, you can have, you've got all these different incident types inside here. So it might be behavioural, it'll bring up a behavioural form. It does even have an, a complaint form inside here. So you've got all these different forms inside here and what that's going to do, that's going to log that into the register as read. And then you would investigate it and then do the thing. Stuff that you're, you're doing manually in your head or after an incident, you would actually go, what, how it happened, all that kind of stuff. But, you know, take it back to the waves days is that I actually had many incidents there and I did have one kind of, and this is why it's so important for you to actually 
record things and keep a record of things is that um, hot sunny day uh, and basically it uh, this child dropped an ice cream in the um, on the ramp of the disabled um, um, section so what happened then is my employee did the right thing he actually closed the um, closed that walkway put a sign there and then hosed off that ice cream did everything correct well this lady just literally barreled over the sign, just ignored it, and she twisted her ankle on that hose. So with uh, Dale, because that's what I taught him to do, make sure that you actually fill in an incident form straight away and make sure you actually get any witnesses' details and make sure that that witness is bipartial, not just their friend. So, and that kind of advice and so forth come back to, you know, really reward me because a couple of months later, I receive a, a letter in the mail. This lady's now claiming that her pram got caught in that hose and the baby fell out. She tripped over, monumental damage to the baby, monumental damage to her, and she was suing for an astronomical amount of money. So I bought this business from literally nothing up to a big, big business. And now this woman was claiming that, this is and you know lying. Thankfully, you know, I was sitting outside Parramatta Court, you know, and uh, and my solicitor come out, and he said it's all over. And I said, "Well, did I win?" And he goes, "Yes, because of this bit of paper, because Dale filled this in." And I actually said, "Well, isn't this your signature and your statement that you only tripped on that process?" Let alone, I actually said to her, "Is that we've got two other witnesses here that we can actually bring up because they got statements there." Now, if I didn't have that recorded, I could have actually been sued. And that's what this system is all about. It's actually keeping records. You've got people coming onto your facility. And yes, there's some people out there who are opportunists. And you're looking at, you're going to, you're in a, a kind of industry that you, you're going to have lots of little incidents because you've got children doing all those different things. And you need to make sure that you actually record that. So in the system here, and this is another thing, you know, when you get the system, we, 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 we provide you with this straight away. So let's say for, for an example, I'll just select Dance Studios because it's the major one. We're going to say, yes, do you want to make a public? Public means that if I scan this QR code, it's going to bring up the internet form on your phone. Don't even have to enter username or password. Do you want your employees listing the form? We're going to say no. I'm going to say add signature print. So not only do we supply you with those checklist QR codes, but we're going to supply you with this QR code as well and a sheet like this. So you can print that out, put it around your facility, and we're going to do one for hazards. So, so you're going to have the checklist ones, you're going to have the incident ones, and you're going to have a sheet for hazards. And you're going to print them out and you're going to put them around your facility. These are made public. Straight away, you could scan them and log incidents. Now, you should want an incident that's actually logged. So I'm, I'm just, I'll just quickly log out of this system and I'll log into my demo system. So you can actually, um, and then that way there you'll see, I'll, I'll be able to enter data in without dirtying the Dance Studio system. All right, so this is my demo system. So if, I've, if I log an incident via that QR code, it'll come into the system as read and record it. Now you're probably thinking, okay, well, how do I do that investigation? Even though you do it all the time. So you're just doing it, just like, say, for an example, with the race clubs, one of these people said, well, I said, you know, what you're supposed to be doing is if you're identifying hazards and recording them, they go, well, what, what is a hazard? And you're probably think, thinking the same thing to yourself. But you're doing it every day. It's just that you don't realise that you're doing it every day. So as I highlighted to them, they had these set of stairs out this back area and I could see it was brand new concrete. And I said, Bob, I said, uh, those stairs there, if, have you just fixed those stairs? And he goes, yes, I have. He said, uh, there was the wooden stairs and, and um, one of the, 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 the runs broke. I said, so it broke. So what did you, what did you do? He said, well, I, I blocked it off. I said, why did you block it off, Bob? And he goes, well, if anyone went down those stairs, Bill, they're going to fall over and you know, break their neck. And I went, that's exactly right. So one, you, was, you identified that there's a hazard. Two, you assessed it and said, someone's going to break their neck. I'm going to close that off. And then what did you do? He said, well, then I actually got the, the guy come in and we built a brand new stairs out of concrete because we thought it'd be safer and more reliable. I went, so not only did you identify, you assessed it, 
and then you develop the control measure by implementing brand new stairs. I said that's exactly what legislation, that is literally all what legislation is saying, what you're supposed to be doing. But the thing is, Bob, no one knows that you've done that. You don't have a history of that because you just did it. So this is what this system is about. It's just like, you know, you know as I say to a lot of people, there's, the, there's one thing that the old saying you could, is going to happen in your life, death and taxes. Well, when it comes down to it, safety legislation is there as well because you pay your taxes, you record all that, that information because you have to or the ATO will, you know, place fines on you. But at the end of the day, safety legislation can close your business down literally in a heartbeat. So, and and that's what you need to, just by having this kind of system in place, it's going to show that straight away. But let, let me show you this helper. You can actually come here and select, how do you do an incident investigation? And the system will actually take you through step by step on how to do it. So every single process in the system, instead of you thinking, how do I use this system? You might say, I've got a new employee. How do I enter that employee into the system? You can come here and go, add a new employee. And the system will take you step by step on actually how to enter an employee inside the system. That's pretty easy. So not only is your end users, your experiences of your employees is literally um, um, you know, just scanning a QR code. So you've got them using the system straight away, but you yourself, instead of you thinking, oh, how do I use this thing? What am I gonna do? It is, it's it, step by step, you've got, in here, you've even getting started. This is the kind of stuff you should be doing straight away. Two minute video, and then it takes you step by step on what to do. So this is literally me taking you through how on every single process that you should be doing. So you've got all these kind of videos and so forth. There is even training for your employees on, and if they if you actually played that to your employees, that would be a twelve minute video for them introduce introducing the system to them, how to do an induction, how to log an incident. I do actually highlight making sure that they do that investigation process. So it's uh, it's one of those things that it's just it, highlighting and educating that employee there is going to educate them on their responsibilities and how to use this system. But mainly I also teach them how to scan a QR code, also how to put it on their phone, all these different things. So it's a great way for you to actually highlight that you've done this. So one of the other things is that you can enter with this employee, you can enter qualifications inside the system. If you don't know how to do it, you can just, how do I enter into qualifications inside the system? It'll take you step by step. But when you're actually entering an employee, it'll come down here and say, select this button if you, you want to add a qualification. There is already going to be preloaded ones in your system for you working with children, certain other kind of qualifications are going to be in there. And you're just going to select that and then you're going to put an alert date and an expiry date. And if you wanted to, you could upload the certificate here of that person. And you can enter as many qualifications as you wish. Again, the helper is taking you step by step or you can watch the videos over and over again. It's pretty easy. So, and um, you're looking at, the beauty about having this inside the system is that that basically automatically creates a qualification matrix. So you can publish this matrix. This is your matrix. You're only seeing your employees here. And these are the qualifications that you've related that are in the system, but you'll see ticks next to your employees if they've got them. The reason why this is yellow, which won't relate to you guys, is that you know you could select if you wanted to, um, you know that this certain position needs to have a certain qualification. So, but we're not going to use that feature inside your system. You can if you wanted to, but it automatically does a training needs analysis. So this is high, highlighting that a GSHA doesn't have that qualification. So you would actually ask the GSHA, hey, by the way, you haven't got your working with children certificate. Can you give it to me, please? And if they don't, so you've just stopped yourself, you're not exposing yourself anymore. And that's what that is about. 
So this this system, when I created this system, was all when I had waves and all my experiences of doing so. There's so many paper-based systems out there, but a paper-based system or an Excel spreadsheet is not going to tell you what you need to be done, and let alone it's not all recorded in one spot that you can find quickly and easily. So it's uh, and you know it's 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 about having all these different things in place. What was also going to be done is you can set up email alerts for literally everything inside the system. So when you kind of register for the system, you, we're going to get your details and your email address, but we're going to set you up for an incident and we're going to set you up for qualifications. We're going to set you, in, uh, you up for, say, for example, um, if a checklist has been done. So this way there, you're going to get email alerted. If any of your staff log an incident via that QR code, you're going to get an email alert. And then you could log into your system and do the investigation, right? which you should. So now that you've got that help there with over 90 different processes, like everything you need to do. If you wanted to, you'll see that there's even a training course inside the system that you can actually complete. That takes you step by step on doing the basic fundamentals. But if I come to this help section up here, you've got this COVID-19 section here as well. In this COVID-19 section, a lot of these documents we've actually even, we've, we've gone ahead and preloaded them for you, but they're here as well. But I'll show you where they are in the system. So it, um, so you've, you've got all these kind of documents there, but this is the one that you really want to highlight. If someone says, well, how are you keeping up to date with the latest information on COVID-19? Well, we use online WHS. And that's, this, is, this is a link directly to the latest information. So you've got resource kits. But this is telling you everything where it's all up to and so forth. So it's a great idea for you to actually do that. Some of those posters and so forth inside the system, like this, we've already preloaded pre that in your system. So if I actually come back to, I'll just log out of this, this system and go back to the Dance Studio system. So so you're looking at, if I come to Forms, You've got all these signage, and if you watch that video that Rebecca and I did, is that we actually, what, what we basically did is we came here, you downloaded this, this um, how to wash your hands, and we put that in her um, change rooms and the bathrooms. So straight away, it's not only, say for an example, do you have the information here, which is easy to do, but you're looking at, Putting this signage around your facility, as I was saying to Rebecca, putting this signage around your facility and the QR codes, straight away, people actually see that you've actually got systems in place. And I'll give an example of that. There was another incident that I had uh, with these all these race clubs, and I, I highlight to them when I do talks in front of them, you should have all your signage around all your different facilities, your evacuation points, all these different things, your emergency procedures, your QR codes. Because, like, uh, I had an incident at Waves where um, I had a water slide and these boys were going up the um, water slides. I had a lifeguard either side and one of the, as the child went down and they touched the side of the, the, the pool, that lifeguard would put, stick up their hand and then allow the next child to go down. Pretty seamless procedure, I thought, pretty safe, until um, Blake forgot the lolly bags. So what he did, he said to the other um, the lifeguard, hey, I'm going up to the front counter, which was around about 70 metres away, to pick up the set of lolly bags. Well, what is the likelihood in that 60 seconds that that employee went back to that front desk and picked up that, that a child... Dale was letting the, the people go down, that a child swam from the other side of the pool and there was a head clash. One child went to the bottom of the pool. That The other child that went down the slide went over to the side just holding his head, but Dale didn't see that child at the bottom of the pool. Thankfully, the father did, and he jumped in the pool. Then all my lifeguards saw what was going on, and it was thankfully, again, nothing seriously happened. 
So after that incident happened, I said to to Dale and Blake, as when I invested that gated that incident to make sure that it doesn't reoccur, and that's what you should be doing. It, I've sat down with them and I said, "How do you think we should avoid that?" I knew the answer, and they've gone, "Well, if we had walkie talkies, I wouldn't have had to go on up to there. I could actually just got the girls to bring it down." I said, "Exactly right, Blake." So I installed walkie talkies to all the lifeguards literally the next day which then become a kind of standard throughout the pool industries, which I've won awards for. But but the one thing that p- um, parents actually used to say, they could actually see all the lifeguards with walkie-talkies walking around. And they said they actually felt safer because they could see that I had systems in place. And that's why when ha- you're having, like with Rebecca's, we place the QR codes around her facility Straight away, you, she, she can show or the, the, the people actually can see, oh, she's actually got um, systems in place, not only just for COVID-19, but other processes as well. So having these signs around the different things, having your QR codes, having your, you know, your markings on the ground, like we actually did her studio and um, she was a bit nervy about it at the start, but it looked fantastic at the end. So, it's, um, you know, it's uh, where she's done a two metres by two metre kind of sections and it kind of just showed straight away that she's got systems in place. That's making, you know, it's, it's a great way not only to... You know, as I say to people, having safety systems in place can actually be a good marketing tool as well. I know, so for an example, it was with Waves, I grew that business quite large by having systems in place. So that's what this system is. Now we are, um, so for an example, uh, when people are actually taking up this kind of process, it's not like we go, oh, thank you, see you later. No, nope. so you're looking at, as I mentioned, once you register, it, uh, you'll be sent a direct debit form. You complete the direct debit form, but you'll be sent a basic starter kit. And um, after uh, Rebecca mentioned that, you know, we're going to make that even easier, all we're literally doing is just getting your employee names and your sites and entering inside the system. So once that happens there is that Lisa will actually send you um, your QR codes for your incidents will be made for your individual site the QR codes for those COVID-19 checklists, which we'll be making public, the QR codes for hazards, so so it'll be done there. And then you're looking at, we send that out to, and then I'll be actually doing once a week a what to do next once you've actually got your system. So yes, you've got this one, these kind of tutorials or webinars that I've done here to promote the system, but we will also be doing once a week a, a webinar saying, okay, now you've got your system, this is what you're going to do next. Every single client, we actually you know, have a webinar once a month generally on a certain subject. So you'll be on that database as well. And that database, you can actually, you know, you want to learn more about the system and how to do so and do these different things. Yeah, you just join the webinars like this. It'll be 20 minutes on a certain subject. And I go over that certain subject and each relationship instead of, say, for an example, going over the entire system. So it's a good way for you to learn that. But in the help section here as well, you've also got all these different kind of videos and so forth on literally every single process within the system. Being that not only that, you've got the helper guide here that highlights um, certain things and you, you, you can see on certain registers, it even says how to show me how to use this register. And that would be just like a five or 10 minute video to, to do that. So trying to make it as easy as possible for you to comply to something that literally is mandatory. So with, um, if you do have any questions, please don't hesitate um, to you know, send me an email or you know, give me a call or whatever it may be. Um, if you do want to take the system further, um, basically we'll send you out a, um, a direct debit form. You just fill in the direct debit form and you do it like that. Now, the cost of the system is $80 a month, so it, um, and usually it would be $2,000 base and then $80 an employee. But for the, the dance studios, because we're all kind of sharing a system, 
that uh, $80 a month, which is available up until July 1, then it goes up to $100 a month, which is normally what an association price would be, either 100 120 but Rebecca screwed me down. So, <laughs> so it, uh, she uh, said, no, nope, Phil, they're not going to pay that. So, so, it, uh, so uh, she's um, worked out well. Now, I'm also sp speaking to her all the time, picking her brain on relating to what happens in a dance studio and when that happens we'll be adding stuff inside the system. The system when it comes to say for an example inductions which are really important we've actually got three inductions which are preloaded in here and they're all built for you and you can just assign them out to your employee and it's going to keep a record of that. So we might be building a couple other ones in here. It depends you know I'll sit down with Rebecca and go over certain things. But, you know, at the end of the day, this is going to highlight that you've actually trained induct your employees. Now, you might say, well, how do I do that and all that kind of stuff? You've got an induction matrix here. But if you followed the helper how to assign an induction, they've already been built for you. So you don't even have to build them. If you wanted to, you can build your own. It's up to you. But in here, how to assign an induction. And, and, and what actually happens is that your employee, if you did want them to log into this system, this is what they would see. And... They just select on inductions and they click on that and they undertake their induction. But you can even have, we've got that um, QR code as an induction. And so also you can do it as a checklist. So there's a variety of things, but we want to get you up running with the basic fundamentals at the start. Hence why we have yeah, the QR code for incident, QR code for hazard, and QR code for those checklists, and then teaching you how to download those, uh, those forms. And then straight away you've got systems in place and it's going to help protect your business as well. Anyway, well, thank you for your time. So I hope uh, that made a lot of sense. I did record this. So it, um, so if you want to listen to my boring voice yet again, you can. So it, um, um, But uh, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to um, send me an email or give me a call or even ask Rebecca um, how she's done all of her stuff as well. Thanks very much. Bye.